Federation UA of Berlin, Germany, Empire Transport and Storage Company of Berlin, calling Empire Transport and Storage Company of Los Angeles, California. Is that thing going on my truck? Yep. Then you can get another driver. I'm through. Say, what's the matter with you, Merc? We've had four of our trucks wrecked in the past month, haven't we? And every one carried one of them who do statues. Well, this is a fine time to lose your nerve. I can't help it. And I've got a strong hunch the whispering shadow is going to strike again. I'll take the truck out, Jack. What do you say? I'm not afraid. Makes a lot of difference when it's your kid brother, don't it, boss? Well, I... Uh... Thanks, Jack. Oh, wait a minute, bud. Just want to make sure your radio phone was working okay. The radios were working on their mother trucks, but that didn't help the drivers any. Oh, cut out the crepe hanging, will you? Anything happens to that kid, Jack? You. Again, broadcasting. Hello, Sparks. Get my kid brother. Truck 29. He's got to pick up a shipment of clear water. I can't call him right now. There's something wrong with the radio. Who are you talking to? Uh, Mr. Foster. He wants to talk. Ah, here you go again. Laughing everything that happens in this department. Here, I'll fix it. You clean up this mess. What's the trouble, Steinbeck? What's the matter with the radio? How soon are you going to have it fixed? I don't know. My equipment is all right. There seems to be some outside force interfering. Outside okay, force? The same thing happens every time there's an attack on one of our trucks. That means the Whispering Shadow is going to strike again. And my brother is on that truck. Jack, you sure gave us a scare. 
What's wrong? Nothing, I hope. We're playing safe. Change the route the next turn off at. What's that? Stay where you are. The whispering shadow. Look! It's a trap! Get going, bud! Fools, you cannot escape. Step on it, bud! Here. Who are you? I'm Jack Foster of the Empire Transport Company. And who are you? He's one of the Whispering Shadows men. They attacked another of our trucks and he killed my brother. You know who the Whispering Shadow is? Tell us! Who is he? I don't know, I tell you. I never saw him. None of us knows who he is. I'm clean or we'll sweat it out of you. You know who it is, all right. Who is he? What's his real name? Come on, quit stalling. Speak up. Kruger is weakening. Watch his light and be warned. I told you the truth before. None of us has ever seen you. None of us knows who he is. You're headed for the chair, Kruger. Lying won't save you. It's the truth, I tell you. All I know is where we meet to get our orders. Where is it? Come on. Tell us. I'll tell. Get. Kruger talked too much. His might.
The chief's coming up and Robert Raymond's with him. You mean the famous criminologist? Yes, yeah, passing through town and dropped off to see the chief. How did this happen? Well, we were quizzing this bird and all of a sudden he dropped dead. It was no shot from the outside? Not a sound. May I, um, certainly, Raymond. Glad to have your opinion. Look. Strange. Thing's still hot. It looks like one of the electrodes that they use in the death house. That's exactly what it is. Your man was electrocuted. Electrocuted? Impossible. Well, where are the wires? The diabolical genius that conceived this had no need of wires. That man was killed by a radio death ray. Out of commission every time one of these attacks occurs. How does your operator explain that, Mr. Bradley? Well, Mr. Steinbeck is in charge of the radio room. I'll let him answer your question. There's some strange influence cutting across our terminal that prevents us from broadcasting. Well, I beg to differ with you. I was in the radio business before I became vice president of this company. And I believe this so-called outside influence is an inside job. What do you mean by that, Jerome? Possibly Mr. Jerome is right. On more than one occasion, I caught him secretly fooling with the radio. Is this true, Jerome? Well, yes. As I told you, I know something about radio. And I have tested the equipment now and then. Has it ever occurred to you, Mr. Bradley, that the attack of the Whispering Shadow began about the time Mr. Jerome bought into this company? Mr. Bradley, I'll not remain here to be insulted by a subordinate whom I have reason to suspect. If you've anything to say to me, I'll be in my office. Is there anything else, Mr. Bradley? I don't think we need to detain Mr. Steinbeck any longer. Can you think of any reason why these attacks should be directed against your company, Mr. Bradley? None. No competitor who would like to see you driven out of business? We are unique in the field. Your losses must be considerable. It's not our losses that worry me. It's fear our employees. It's getting so I dread to hear the sound of a truck pulling up. I know its driver may never come back. If I only had some clue, however slight, to start unraveling. There's one strange thing in connection with the attacks. Every truck that's been wrecked was carrying a waxwork from Strang's house of mystery. Strang? You don't mean Professor Anton Strang, the magician? Why, yes. Do you know him? Only by reputation, and that's bad enough. He contrived some means of paying him a visit. But that's yeah. easily arranged, and he'll never suspect you. Take your hat, sir. No, thanks. Where's Professor Strang? Take your hat, sir. Pretty lifelike, isn't it? Take your hat, sir. You're standing in the spring that operates it. We'd better watch our step around here. Can I help you? 
this is the most lifelike one of all. The professor sure knows his girly figures. <laughs> oh, I, I beg your pardon, miss. You wish to see my father. I take care of the gentleman, Bira. Professor Strang, we're from the Empire Transport Company. I'm Jack Foster, and this is Mr. Stevens, our insurance adjuster. Yes? Your last shipment was badly damaged in the wreck, Professor. We'd like to settle with you. I have a similar figure at the store room. If you'll come with me, we can discuss the damage. Thank you. Uh, I'll uh, stay here while you two talk business. <laughs> By all means. This way, Mr. Stevens. These little playmates of yours get kind of rough, Professor. My dear Mr. Foster, I can't tell you how sorry I am. I hope you're not badly hurt. Oh. What's happened to you? Rather a nasty wound in there. I better take you to a doctor right away. Oh, I'm all right. It's only a little bruise. We can't afford to take any chances. Let me call a taxi. We have a car outside. The company will mail you a check for the damages to your waxwork. Hey, what's the idea? I was just on the point of finding out something. You wouldn't have found out a thing. It was Strang who struck you down. Lucky he didn't kill you. Then we were on the right track. I wish you hadn't done it, Father. I'm afraid that assurance of justice suspects you. I know it does. Look at this. I don't know why I took it out of his pocket. Mr. Robert Raymond, the world famous detective. Do you suppose this whispering shadow is wise to our secret? What's the difference if the shadow or this wise dick does find himself? Either way, you and me are rotting in jail for nothing. Maybe they won't find it. We hit it pretty smart. I ain't taking any chances. We've got to get out of here. Why, you're crazy. Them guys never miss. Get this out of here. Mine again to keep it. Not me. <laughs> boys. Be careful with it. Hello, Professor. We have no further use for this after setting with you, so what you'd like to have it. Put it down right there. 
Thank you very much. Don't mention it. I'm glad I've been of service to you. Good afternoon, Miss Strange. How do you do? equally desperate action. What are you going to do? I'll strike at the warehouse tonight. But father, this is a terrible risk. You must be careful. Nonsense. It's any risk too great. The price is the world's richest collection of jewels. Father, please listen to me. Warehouse tonight. We'll be waiting for it, and we'll capture the whispering shadow. You all understand my order. We understand. Remember, they will be on the lookout for us. The place will be well guarded. Nothing must go amiss. We are. Well, what's the meaning of this? That's all right, Bill. I'm fast. Sorry, Mr. Jerome, but the place is being caught. We weren't expecting you tonight. Do well, I have to get special permission to enter my own office? I've got work to do tonight. He usually comes in at night. I've never known him to before. Check in a coffin for transshipment. Okay, 34, that is all. Call and truck 42. Call and truck 42. Hey, boss! He's gone dead again! I told you not to interrupt me. What is that same in the ferns? The whispered shadow. Shall I call Mr. Raymond? No use alarming anybody until we are sure. Sounds to me like trouble with the aerial. Get up on the roof and take a look at it. Yes, sir.
Don't go locking yourself out on the roof again. Everything's working as planned. The door's open. So the roof fell in. I've got the shadow. Help! Quick! Don't let him get away! Why, it's Mr. Jerome. So it is. You can let him loose. Mr. Jerome is above suspicion. In a mystery of this sort, Mr. Bradley, no man is above suspicion. I know he isn't. He killed the radio operator. I saw him. That's a lie. Now, just a minute. When did this happen? Just before the shadow's men attacked. Spark saw them and started to give the alarm, but Jerome struck him down. I didn't know it was Sparks. I thought it was one of the shadows, mate. Well, let's go upstairs and look into them.
Oh, gee. I nearly had it. So, this is the man I killed, is it? A pretty live-looking corpse. Is he the man who knocked you down? I don't know. What? Didn't you see him? No. If he had been where I could see him when he hit me, I wouldn't have got hit. I almost had. What was that explosion? What explosion? What's going on here? Well, what's happening, Foster? Why, the whispering shadow just tried to kill me. What? How? With this electric disc. Well, where are the jewels? I didn't get them. Don't try any tricks on me. I know you've got them. I tell you I didn't. The girl, she was... What make you think? You can double-cross me. Don't you, Steinbeck. Mr. Steinbeck! You are wanted on the phone. All right. I'll be there. You heard me. Yes, sir. Say, Mr. Jarvis, maybe you can help me solve this puzzle. Why, sure, Sparks. I'm a wizard at that. Here, let me show you. This is the ship when they want to check. I'll see you later, Jarvis. You see, Mr. Jarvis, the idea is to get that first ring over that wire there. See that? Say, I thought... Oh, gee. Make a sound, Bradley. You're taking me back to your office. What do you want? I'll relieve you of those jewels now, Bradley. I haven't any jewels. Unless you mean... Uh, you know what I mean. I saw you take those jewels from Foster after we knocked him cold. Where are they? In a safe deposit vault. In a security trust. Then I'll trouble you for the key. Now, write an order to the trust company saying that you're sending me to get something out of the box for you. 
It's no use, Bradley. You're licked and you know it. Now turn around. This is just to make sure that you don't call for help after I leave. Now put your hands behind your back. I'll take a chance through the main entrance. You two slip up that fire escape. Now get over to that closet. Well, well. The Whispering Shadow's daughter. My father is not the Whispering Shadow. Oh, no? Well, we'll see if he tries to do anything to me while you're with me. Get in there, Bradley. That's not the way out. We're leaving by the fire escape. You are mistaken, young. You are not going to leave this building alive. You can't kill me with your death ray because the radio disc isn't on. I have other ways of dealing with traitors. I've got your daughter here, and if... Get out onto the fire escape. We'll have to go out through the hall. Don't try any of your tricks. Get your father on the phone. I'm not going to let him get away with this. Here looking for me? Yes, a young lady. I think she's gone to Mr. Bradley's office. There's no answer. Stop. If you've passed through that window, you sign the death warrant of the Shadow's daughter. Let call his bluff. Where'd that shot come from? Watch. Bradley's office. What happened to the girl? What girl? Why, Miss... Uh, I thought there was a girl in the room when I came in. I'd better get a doctor. The paper is of no use without the key of the safe deposit box. I don't know who got the key. I'll find out. Our mission must succeed. Once we get that key, the Imperial Jewels will be ours.
with it. Have a gram. Sign it, please. You've got that paper and key from Young, and I want them. Give me that key, or I'll... Nothing to worry about. I'll... Another of your little... Your, uh, accident. Eh, Professor Strang? Don't close the panel on my account, Professor Strang. What would the police say to a second mysterious death by electricity in your waxwork? It was an accident. My father didn't. Ah, my dear girl, I said it was an accident. Come to the point, Steinbeck. What do you want? Just what Slate wanted. The order to the trust company and the key you got from Bradley's office tonight. I didn't get the key. Ah, so Slate got it. That's why you killed him. No, no, I... Never mind that. You have the order. Give it to me. Found him like this. I didn't kill him. Why should I? I say you killed him. But it seems to have something you want. Why are you searching his pocket? Not asking, huh? Yeah. It's pretty bad for you, Steinbeck. Yeah. Frank and his daughter. They're around here somewhere. And we shouldn't have any trouble finding them. You go first. Strang there? I must speak to her. What's the trouble, Foster? This is Raymond speaking. Raymond? Come over to the warehouse at once. Bradley has just been murdered. Bradley murdered? The Whispering Shadow? I'll be right over. You don't seem much surprised at Bradley's death, Steinbeck. You're a fast worker. Get going! Oh, Father, the police will be here to investigate Kate's death. You come with me. 
No one knows we were here at all, except Steinbeck, and he's under suspicion. Come. But a murder has been committed, Mr. Jerome. We ought to call the police. Not yet. I'm the head of this company now that Mr. Bradley is dead. When it's time to call the police, I'll do it. But the Whispering Shadow killed my brother and... Hello, Foster. You bungled enough when you blabbed about the murder to Detective Raymond. Come in. Good work, Raymond. I always suspected it was Steinbeck. Did you get a confession from him? Never mind that now. Where is the... Oh. How was he killed? Death ray. We found this on him. Where were you when you let him have it? In the radio room or in your own room? I told Bradley repeatedly that he was the whispering shadow. You'll not get out of it so easily this time, Steinbeck. Hello, Foster speaking. Yes, he's here now. It's Sparks in the radio room, calling for Steinbeck. Find out what he wants. Give me the message, Sparks. Tell him that cold call of his keeps on sounding in his private room. Now, come on, you're going to answer that call. Wait for me here. But, Father, you'll be in danger. Let me go with you. Do as I say. You decoded the other message, Raymond. What does this one say? It's only the last part of the message here. It says, murder Bradley and mistake. Power in hand to Jerome. Signed, the Red Circle. That proves that Steinbeck killed Mr. Bradley. I didn't kill him. You only heard half the message. I'll tell you the truth. I am an agent of the Revolutionary Party of... I know that. What about this? Don't you understand? Jerome is the whispering shadow. He killed Bradley to get the jewels. What good would that do him? The jewels in the bank vault. The shadow! Attention! The shadow commands. My enemies are in the radio room. Get them. It's your last. It's Steinbeck. Don't let him get away. Turn on the light. He's gone. There he is. Sparks, what happened? Somebody threw that coat over my head and knocked me down. It was Steinbeck. The roof!
I'll search the law. Father, we must get away. Not without the key. At last, my mission will soon be accomplished. Now's our chance. Not so fast. Give me that paper and the key. Ah! There you are. Professor Strang, I want to apologize for suspecting you of being the Whispering Shadow. Okay, boss, I thought you said you had the shadow. He got away. Which way did he go? Oh, don't worry about that. He'll be back. He won't leave without making another attempt to get this. What is that? He to the safe deposit box containing the jewels. Mr. Foster, you hold in your hand the fate of my country. You may not be the Whispering Shadow, Strang, but you have a lot to explain. That is just what I intend to do, Mr. Ames. I'm the foreign minister of the Federated Baltic States. The crown jewel, the whispering shadow, is trying to get, were entrusted to me to bring to America as security for a loan. The escaped convict slaves stole them from me and hid them here in this warehouse. I suppose you can prove your identity? Excellent. Why didn't you tell us all this before, instead of allowing us to believe that you were the Whispering Shadow? Because the resulting publicity might have bankrupted my country. I heard shooting chief and grabbed this man trying to make his getaway. Now maybe you'll believe that Steinbeck is the Whispering Shadow. I found these things in the receiving room just after he ran out. What about this, Steinbeck? I told you I was a special agent sent here by my country. To stop the loan Strang was trying to make. I'm not the shadow. 
I never saw that cape before. How do we know these things don't belong to you, Mr. General? You attack me right here and try to get the order for the jewels. Is that right, Jerome? Yes, I did. I feel that I have a right to those jewels. You have a right to the Imperial jewels? What right? By right of inheritance. I'll tell you who I really am, even though it puts my life in danger. I am the only survivor of the House of Falconoff. The jewels were confiscated from us by the New Republic. You mean you are the exiled Prince Alexander? Yes. I was in this country when the revolution occurred. Fearful for my life, I took an assumed name. I bought an interest in the storage company to help me locate the jewels which I knew were hidden in the warehouse. Has anybody seen my puzzle? Oh, there it is. I've never known you to lose your puzzle before, Spark. No, and it won't happen it again. Mr. Jerome, both you and Steindeck have explained your motive. But there's nothing to prove that one of you isn't the Whispering Shadow. Hey, hey, what's the idea? Don't do that, Mr. Foster. Hey, Foster, what's come over you? You hold him and I'll tell you. I just found this in my pocket. The shadow's death disc. How did it get there? Never mind that now. Watch. Watch that disc. <laughs> so that's where the death ray came from. Foster, how did you figure it was this machine? This strang really put me on the right trail. I? Yes. Miss Strang and I thought that Mr. Jerome was the whispering shadow. Well, where are the jewels? I didn't get them. Don't try any tricks on me. I know you've got them. I tell you I didn't. The girl, she was... What makes you think? You can double-cross me. Don't shoot, Steinbeck. I tell you. Mr. Steinbeck. Mr. Steinbeck. You are wanted on the phone. All right. I'll be there. You heard me. Yes, sir. Say, Mr. Jarvis, maybe you can help me solve this puzzle. Why, sure, Spark. I'm a wizard at that. Here, let me show you. This is the ship when they want to check. I'll see you later, Jarvis. You see, Mr. Jarvis, the idea is to get set point way over that wire there. See that? Say, I thought... Oh, gee. Miss Strang told me that, I felt sure it was Sparks that had planted the death disc in Mr. Jerome's office. How can you kill at a distance with a broadcasting current? It's impossible! It wasn't a broadcasting current. That's what did it. Sparks puzzled. Yes, a harmless looking toy. I just saw it transform a broadcast wave into a death ray. And Sparks is the whispering shadow. You see, Sparks, we have your dead to rights. But how did you happen to conceive such a crazy scheme? Crazy? I'm a great radio genius. I invented the most deadly machine ever known. The death ray. All I needed was wealth to make me the most powerful man in the world. That's why I wanted a jewel that were hidden in this warehouse. How were you able to project the shadow and the whispering voice? Well, I suppose I might as well show you. Give me that cape and hat. Mm.
Stand back, all of you. Jack, what are you going to do? We can't let the shadow get away. Thank you.